नमो ब्रह्मादिभ्यो ब्रह्म विद्या संप्रदाय कर्तृभ्यो वंश ऋषिभ्यो महद्यो नमो गुरुभ्य श्रुतिस्मृतिपुराणा करुणाल नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंक सदाशिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यम अस्मताचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्रवाश्य कृतौ वंदे भगवत पुनः पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्तिभेद विवागिने व्योमेहाय दक्षिणाूर्त नम ओम श्री दक्षिणाूर्त नम सो टू द क्वेश्चन ऑफ गार्ग्य पीपल आर द एंसर्स टू द क्वेश्चन दैट एज द रेस ऑफ द सेटिंग सन बिकम यूनाइटेड टू द ऑर्ब ऑफ द सन while setting out in the sleep all the functions of the human body also settles down and they merge in the mind hence the man will doesn't hear he doesn't smell he doesn't taste he doesn't feel he doesn't speak enjoy evacuate or move etc and all and those who see him they say he is sleeping but is he really sleeping so to answer that before that pipalada is giving out a simile from the vedic practices so it, this may not be very familiar or you know easy to understand by us because we are not exposed to these functions of the vedic period it's basically about the panjagni or the five fires used in the uh, grahastha or the householder for his daily vedic rituals so he using that examples of the five fires to bring to the five pranas panja prana and five fires he is relating them one another so it's it's only for academic purpose let us go through these the third and fourth mantra very not very into much detail because there is nothing much to explain it prana agnaya eva tai smin pure jagrati गापत्यो हवान व्यानो अन्वाहापचनो यदार्ह्यपत्या प्रणीयते प्रणयना हवनीय प्राण सो एक पुरे मीन इन दिस सिटी प्राणाग्नयः द फाइव फायर्स ऑफ प्राण एव जागृति रिमेन्स अवेक एषा आउट ऑफ दिस अपान वै गापत्य इज कंपेरिंग अपान द ब्रीथिंग इन साइड एस अपान एस गापत्य गापत्या मीन्स गृह फॉर ए गृहस्थ गापत्या फायर इज द फायर विच इज नवर क्वेंस्ड और पुट आउट एन टिल हिज डेथ इवन ड्यूरिंग हिज डेथ इट इज पास ऑन फ्रॉम द फादर टू द सन सो वन से गापत्या टेक्स प्लेस इन द हाउस होल्ड द हाउस होल्ड फायर मेन्टेनिंग द गापत्या फायर garhapatya the name also came from the grihastya griha from the griha that garhapatya is come vyanaha annuaharya pachanah annuaharya pachana actually is the dakshina dakshnaagni it is also called dakshnaagni it is called dakshnaagni because when the ritual is being done 
this fire is kept on the right side of the Rithik or the one who is doing Yajna. So therefore it is also called Dakshina, Dakshinagni. Yat Garhapatyat Pranayat Pranayanat Pranayanat Praniyate This south fire or southern fire yet because Garhapatyat Pranayanat that it which is taken from the Garhapatya fire therefore Praniyate is taken from the this thing Prana Eva Ahvaniya fire. Now the third fire is the Prana. So you have got Apana as the Garhapatya fire, Vyana as the southern fire and Ahvaniya is Ahvan, Ahvan means leading. By leading the fire from the Garhapatya to the place of the Yajna. Garhapatya is inside the house. Whereas the Yajna takes place in the Yajna Shala. So fire for the Yajna Shala is Praniyate. Is taken from the Garhapatya fire. And therefore it is called Ahvaniya. Means one fire what has been led. Leading fire. And the Prana alone is the leading fire. So Prana, Apana, Vyana. The three fires have been described in this particular mantra. And it is not talking about the Mukhya Prana. It is talking about the, the Prana Apana. The breathing in and breathing out as the inside the body. So the body is considered as a Yajna Shala or a place of worship or the Yajna is being conducted by every human being or every Vedic you know, follower. And the five fires are the five pranas in the body. And that five pranas are prana, apana, vyana, which has been already explained. Now let us look what is samana and udana. Yet utsasani nishashwasa shwasavat etahuti samam nayati nayati iti saha samanaha. Manohavai vava yajamanaha ishtahalam eva udanaha saha enam yajamanam aharahar brahma gamayati yat etau utsasa nishwasau so from these two the inhalation and expiration Uchwasa means expiration, Nishwasa means, you know, Nishwasa means expiration, Uchwasa means inspiration. Taking in air and taking out. By doing this process, Ahuti, two oblations, Samam Nayati, into the Yajna, which is the fire inside the body, into that fire, two Ahuti means oblations, Samam, which is equal in size, is being led by the process of breathing in and breathing out. But therefore, samam nayati iti samanaha. Therefore, that activity is called a samana. Now, the, the five fires which are being mentioned earlier and this one should not be confused between two. Because here it is treating the five fires as the fires for the yajna in the body. Whereas the five fires which have been really given the name in the earlier mantra is for the functions of the body. Basically, it is just naming of them, that's all. So, samana is that but which equally being offered into the heat of the body. Hota is the hotri or hotaraha is the priest and that priest is the manaha, is the chief yajamanaha. He is the Manahai Yajamanaha. So it is the mind which is controlling all the five fires. Prana, Pana, Samana, Vyana, Udana. So he is the Yajamana who is controlling the five fires. The mind is the one which is the Yajamana here. 
ಉದಾನ ಇಷ್ಟಫಲ ಸಹ ಏನ ಯಜಮಾನ ಅಹರ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ನಿಗಮಯತಿ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ದ ಯಜಮಾನ ಹೀ ಇಸ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸ್ಯಾಕ್ರಿಫೈಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎನ್ ಇಷ್ಟಫಲ ಆರ್ ಎ ಫ್ರೂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎನ್ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ and what is the fruit of action he wants to go to brahma loga that is why he is doing this yajna in the yajna shala but why is he doing in the body because he wants to attain the brahman hood or the finding the truth in him or atma brahma so in both way brahma is the brahman is the target one is the brahma loga if you are looking at the yajna shala or the sacrificial uh, hall where the yajna is being done if you consider the body as the yajna shala or the sacrificial place where the yajna is taking place then udana is the one which is saha enam yajamanam aharaha every day by day day after day brahma gamayati is he leading to brahma because by doing this activity of panja prana ahuti we will learn, we are there actually speaking there is this panjagni vidya in chandogya which we are not touched up because that is a upasana here also it is referring to upasana only of the uh, panja ahuti panja panja prana ahuti so udana is the one which is taking him by giving the ishtafalam or taking him actually here what is he meaning is that udana is the one which is taking him into deep sleep deep sleep whom the mind with all the 17 fires is being taken into the deep sleep which is brahman in the body whereas if it is the eternal yajna shala or the hall there the the udana fire is the one which is taking him to the brahma loka so this is the comparison or a simile given by sage pipalada for the two uh, comparison one is the sacrificial hall other one is the body as a sacrificial hall so in both the places the five fires have been named and explained Now let us go to the fifth mandra. Atra yesha devaha svapnaha mahimanam anubhavati. Yad ishtam ishtam anubhasyati. Shrutam shrutam eva artham anusrunavati. Desha dighanda reishcha pratyanubhutam punapuna pratyanubhavitam ishtam cha ishtam ಚ ಶ್ರುತ ಚ ಅಶ್ರುತ ಚ ಅನುಭೂತ ಚ ಅನನುಭೂತ ಚ ಸತ್ ಚ ಅಸತ್ ಚ ಸರ್ವ ಪಶ್ಯತಿ ಸರ್ವ ಪಶ್ಯತಿ ನಾವು ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಮಂತ್ರ ಏಷ ದಿಸ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಎ ದೇವ ಹಿಯರ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಂಟೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಅತ್ರ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸ್ವಮೇ ಸ್ವಪ್ನೆ in this dream mahimanam anubhavati he is enjoying extra extreme power now how does the extreme power is enjoyed by the mind in the dream yat ishtam ishtam anupashyati whatever he has seen in the waking and he has liked it he again enjoys it in the dream with much more much more grander way than what he could not do in the waking suppose if he has seen a uh, a, a, a great uh, what you call object and he really wanted it but could not afford it or could not achieve it because it's not for sale or it is un- untouchable or unreachable or uh, it is somebody else's property so in that case he has an ishtam or he has a liking for that property so what he does is that he brings that property into the dream it is a mind 
he brings the property into the mind and there he enjoys with that object what he could not do in the waking that is why he is saying yet ishtam ishtam anupashyati means again sees it shrutam shrutam eva whatever he has heard that what he, he has heard he suppose if it is uh, you know he has been uh, praised to the sky and he is really uh, liked it and everything he wants to hear that again and again he can't do that because that the one uh, incident happened only once but when it comes to the dream he can reenact the whole thing in much grander way and he can keep on listening any number of times he want artham anushrunoti objects which he has not heard like music or some uh, lovely talks or you know the the talks by his beloved or things like that he hears again in his dream disha digandareihi pratyanubhutam punap punaha pratyanubhavati so what ha what is the different places and different quarters perceived by him during the waking and imagined in his mind again and again anu anu pratyanubhavati means he enhances that travel or different places and different locations in the way which he he whatever way he wants to enjoy it he enjoys it in the in the dream this is an answer to who is the one who is enjoying in the dream okay so he says ishtam cha anishtam whatever is seen and unseen shrutam cha ashrutam what is heard and what is unheard anubhutam cha anu anubhutam what has been perceived and what has been unperceived cha satcha asatcha mean what is real and what is unreal even in the waking we have things which are real trans, transitionary real that is what is called in the vyavahara satya and there are asat like you know which were we are getting fooled by the mirage like experience or the snake rope or etc that is called asat here sarvam pasyati he is seeing everything what he wants to see the mind wants to see it projects and create therefore mind is a god with extremely pa- mahimanam power mahimana means extreme grandeur power he is having swayam api and he is not only seeing the other things he is seeing himself sarvam pasyati therefore he sees everything he is seeing himself as a dreamer and everything in the dream world and he is also projecting whatever he wanted to see and enjoyed in the waking which he is not satisfied that satisfaction is completed in the dream world and this is how the mind functions in the in the dream this is an answer to the question which uh, gargi asked who enjoys the happiness in the dream then the sixth mantra sayada तेजस अभिभूत अष देव स्वप्न न पश्यस्मीरेतत्सुखम नौ सह द मैंड दैव यता तेजस वेन द पवर विद द पवर अभिभूत ओवर पवर्ड बै बिकम्स ओवर पवर्ड बै द द पवर् अत्र इन दिस कंडीशन एशा देवा हियर दिस सेकंड देवा व्हाट इज बीइंग यूज्ड इज द जीवात्मा स्वप्नान ड्रीम न पश्यति व्हाइल द ड्रीम इज बीइंग सीन बाय द माइंड द जीवात्मा व्हिच इज द गिविंग द पावर तेजस और द लाइट टू द माइंड or bo- mind which is borrowing the power from the because prana mind is the prana itself 
and that is a shadow of the atma so shadow means born out of ignorance or darkness so that prana which is now the mind is the one which is projecting the dream world he is seeing everything but the one which is given the power to the prana or which which, which is the, which for which it has become the shadow as with of the original one swapna na pashyati it doesn't see the swapna atma doesn't see the swapna it's only the mind which is seeing the swapna tada etasmin sharire etat sukham bhavati then in this sharira etat this sukham bliss bhavati is being enjoyed by the mind and atma is the one which is giving the power to the mind to enjoy it now here is something which we have to ponder about it we know that the dream and the waking is very similar so in this mantra what pipalada is saying is that atma is present giving power in the mind to project the different world in the dream world including himself as a dream with the extra power of the imagination of the mind it is creating a world of its own now same atma and same mind is there in the waking also so do we conclude that the waking world is also a projection through the mind by the atma for keeping us or placing us as a waker in the waking world to enjoy the waking world there also we have variations like sat asat that is real unreal then all the explanations which has been mentioned for the dream is valid in the waking also except that the imagination part is not available in the waking but the conditions for the power projection and the world is very similar it is the atma the tejas which is giving power to the mind to create the mind in the waking in the dream world and in the waking world we are seeing ourselves as a waker and then thinking the world is that of uh, no, the mind is that of the waker and the world which is there is a third object which is not connected with us because we disconnect ourselves from the world only when we will see that how does it connect between us and the world outside in the coming mantras there you will see that the world which is seen outside we see it as outside world but from atma's point of view it is projection through the mind from the atma's point of view mind it not from the waker's point of view so the waker still feels the mind is his tool and the world outside is created by somebody else this is used by those who believe in creation to project the world creation also so let us see how the next mantra handles this aspect of it which is very important sa yada saumya vayamsi vrsvayo vriksham sampratishtande evam havai tat sarvam pare atmani sampratishtande this is a very important mantra hey saumya my dear boy vayamsi vayo vriksham yata sampratishtante that is birds just as roost in the evening to that their own nest or the tree vayo vayo vriksham means the tree where they have their nest sampratishtante mean they rush towards that evam havai in the similar manner tat sarvam all these projections from the world outside onwards the pro- the tools the instruments the everything in the body pare atmani sampratishtande they get back to the atma as if they were all going out from that place 
for enjoying the world outside and in the deep sleep they are all coming back to the roost for taking rest just as the birds when they spend the whole day by searching food and progenitating and uh, making uh, you know the roo- the nest etc they toil up and down in the whole day but by night they all come back to the nest or the tree the if the nest is not complete and take rest in the tree same way the mind the tools of the mind like the sense organs of perception sense organs of action the panja prana the panja the, the mano buddhi everything comes back to the atmani at pare atmani sampradishtande they they rest take refuge in the atman as if that is their abode this is the mantra which is very important which you should listen because the next mantra is a long winding mantra so it is a detailing how this you know taking refuge is taking place पृथ्वी चा पृथ्वी मात्रा चा आप अपस्चा अपो मात्रा चा तेजस्चा तेजो मात्रा चा वायुस्चा वायु मात्रा चा आकस्चा आकाशस मात्रा चा चक्षुस्चा दृष्टव्यम चा श्रोत्रम चा श्रोतव्यम चा घ्राणम चा ग्रातव्यम चा रसमस्चा रस रस रसयितम्यम चा स्पर्शयितव्यं च वाक् वक्तव्यं च हस्त आदतव्यं च उपस्थ आनंद आनंदयितव्यं च पायुश्च विसर्जीतव्यं च पाद गंतव्यं च मनश्च मंतव्यं च बुद्धिश्च बोधव्यं च अहंकार अहंकर्तव्यं च चेतयितव्यं चेतव्य विद्योतयितव्यं च प्राणश्च विदारयितव्यं च नाउ ही इज गिविंग ए लिस्ट ऑफ थिंग्स व्हिच इज बीइंग डन ड्यूरिंग द डे टाइम दैट इज व्हेन द माइंड इज थ्रू माइंड द होल वर्ल्ड इज प्रोजेक्टेड आइदर इन वेकिंग और इन ड्रीम डजंट मेक अ डिफरेंस पृथ्वी पृथ्वी मात्रा the earth and the the element of earth so this definitely is referring to the waking we are seeing the world earth and the elements in the earth aap aapo matras the liquid the vapa means water here it, you have to take it as all liquids aapo matra means element in the form of liquids tejah तेजो मात्र लाइट मीन एवरी एनर्जी सोर्स एंड तेजो मात्र मीन दो एलिमेंट्स विच गिव वर्ट एनर्जी इट कैन बी एटम बॉम्ब टू द सन वायु वायु मात्र द गैसेस एंड द एलिमेंटल गैसेस आकाश आकाश मात्र द स्पेस एंड द एलिमेंटल स्पेस विच विच कंटेन्स द यूनिवर्स the akasha matra is the verse the even elemental universe where the universe is being experienced chakshu drashtavyam now coming to experiential part having explained the panja panja, panja tanmatra now he is moving to uh, panja sense organs that is organs of sense perception chakshu chakshu drashtavyam objects of sight including the eye that is the achakshu and the drashtavyam means objects of sight shrotam shrotavyam ear and objects of hearing ghranam gratavyam smell and objects of smell rasas rasaditavyam cha the object rasa means taste and objects of taste tok touch and sparshitavyam so objects of touch now all these five are five sense organs of perception चक्षुश्रोत्र घ्राण रसम त्वक् 
and walk and uh, the sparsha. I mean, all those things, five. Sarda sparsha rasa ganda. Now comes the action, the sense organs of action. Walk cha vaktavyam. Speech and the objects of speech or what is what is that is spoken. Hastav, two hands and atadadavyam, what can be taken. Two hands and what can be grasped or aggrandized. Upasta, the organ of generation and anandaidavyam and the object of enjoyment. Here the uh, organs of generation and organs of enjoyment, the object of enjoyment is for procreation he is referring to. Payu, the organs of creation in visarji davyamcha. Padav, two legs. Well, visarjana means excretion. Payu is the organ of excretion. Visarji davyam is objects of excretion. Padav, two legs. Gandavyam, what can be walked upon? Not what is being walked by. It is what where we are walking on. Manaha mantavyam, the mind and the objects of thought. Mantavyam means thought. Mantavyam means objects of thought. Buddhi in his intellect and bodhavyam. Bodhavyam means objects of intellection. Intellect. Ahankaraha means ego. Ahankartavyam, the objects for egoism or egotism. Chittam, memory, and chetaitavyam, objects of memory. Tejaha, light, and bodhaitavyam. Here the light is being taken for what is to be lit upon or what which we see by light. Pranaha is the energy, prana energy. Vidaraitavyam, what can be held up. Etai sarvai, Atmani Sampradishtande, all these things what has been listed as the activities of waking dream is now in the Atman when they are into the dream world. Right? You should understand that and not in the no, dream world. Here we are talking about what is being told in the deep sleep, not dream world, deep sleep. Sarvam Yatam Sarvai Atmani Sampradishtande. In the Atman, they are merging. They take refuge in the Atman. So, the, it is a continuation of the previous mantra. Eshahi Drishta Sparshta, Shrota, Data, Rasaita, Manta, Bodha, Karta, Vitnyanatma, Purushaha, Sah, Pare, Akshare, Atmani, Sampratishtate. Now, he is concluding that aspect of taking refuge. Yesha he, this Atman, Pare Atman or Paramatma or what is there in the Sushupti. See, here is the very clear statement that what is being told by the Chantogya Upanishad is being supplemented or even agreed upon by Prasna Upanishad. Yesha he drishtas Pashta, Srota, Data, Rasaita, Manta, Bodha, Karta, Vitnyatma, Purusha. That means he is the one who is seeing, touching, hearing, Dhrata, smelling, Rasaita, tasting, Manta, with, uh, the one who is thinking, Bodha, one who is with the intellect, one who is Karta, thinking about the Ahankara, Vitnyana Atma, the, the one which is knowing that Vitnyana, the knowledge that these are all I am the one who is doing Purusha Saha Pare Akshare Atmani Sampratishtade So he is now he in Saha means that Purusha which he was thinking with the self knowledge that I am the person who is with all the qualifying objects of smelling, tasting etc etc he Pare Akshare, in the supreme immutable, Akshare means immutable or imperishable, Atmani, in the Atmani, Sampratishtate, he is getting established in the deep sleep. So, is there any doubt that we are in with Atma when we are in our deep sleep? The, the, the Upanishads itself says that 
who thinks that I am the doer of the, all that the activity in the daytime or in the day dream, he is taking refuge in the Atman for himself because he is tired. Like the birds getting to take refuge in the tree where they are building the nest, we are also getting tired by the, the engagement and thinking we are the doer and getting tired of the activity. We take refuge in our own nature, Atmani, and that is how we become, we are the one which is now established, getting established in the Atma in the deep sleep. It is he who feels, sees, feels, hears, smells, tastes, thinks, knows. He is the doer, the intelligent soul, Purusha. He is established in the supreme immutable Atman. That is how it is being translated in the Sangrabhasya. So, you can see that here we are now coming to the last two mantras where Pipalada seals that he, he, you know, he hammers the nail for us to understand. Param eva aksharam pradipadyate sa yaha vai tat chayam asariram alohitam shubram aksharam vedayate yastu saumya sa sarvatnyaha sarvaha bhavati tatesha slokaha. So he is concluding the explanations. Yaha, one who how I assuredly that that achayam now that is being referred to Brahman. The one who is assuredly knowing that Brahman as achayam without sh- shadow less. Because we, we were told that chaya matra purusha in the beginning that the prana is the chaya of Atman. And prana is what is becoming the mind and the body and the fine organs, all those things. Now he is reversing that chaya to Brahman or to Atman and says, the one who assuredly knows that achayam, the, the shadowless, ashariram, bodiless, all the thought that we are having, I am the body, we are having the body, you are having the body, all are bodiless. Alohidam, colorless. Now that it is not for red color, but it is to show that all sorts of, you know, the multiplicity which we see with eyes. Eyes is the one which is showing us the multiplicity. If the eyes doesn't show the multiplicity, we may not be able to know the multiplicity. To that extent, how much our eyes can show by our the other sense organs. The ears, the ears may show the sound different, but that will not show us the visual distur- dis- difference between the two sources of the sound. So here he is only using the one word alohidam to indicate that all the type of multiplicity which we are using with uh, all the sense organs. With the eyes as a sample, he is including all other sense organs. Now he is using the word shubram, means pure, where the multiplicity has gone in, nothing is there in the multiplicity, that is in the pure substratum. Only in the pure substratum there is the multiplicity can merge or go. Aksharam, mean indestructible, means the substratum where there, there is no destruction possible, all the, dis, all the destruction which appeared from the substratum has now been destructed and merged into the substratum and the substratum cannot be de- destroyed any further. Now if you look at this as aksharam, as alphabet, there is no way we can name it the substratum because it is in the substratum all things have merged into. So what can, what, what, uh, what word can you, what letters or alphabets can you use for the substratum? Because all alphabets have merged into the substratum or word, there is no words which you can use it. Aksharam means without sharam, without decay or destruction. Yaha who, Vedayate, one who knows, the one who knows that he is Achayam, Without the shadow, 
அசரீரம் without the body and without any multiplicity with any of the sense organs and pure where the purity is not destructible or named that is my true nature saha param aksharam he the supreme indestructible, indestructible eva pradibadyate he feels or attains that state of inscrutable indestructible nature of his own nature by knowledge that is what here vedayate that is the important word which is being that by knowing that all these things are only due to avidya because i considered chaya as a reality a shadow can never be real without the original and i am the original from where the chaya has appeared and chaya produced my mind and my sense organs i perception and action and mind and buddhi and the world of objects for me to perceive everything is through the mind and i knew no now for sure that i am none of that but i am the one without the shadow without the uh, without the body without the this multiplicity of the sense organs pure and indestructible and that is the my true nature one and the one who knows that ya saha param aksharam eva pradipadyate e saumya my dear boy yaha tu and who again saha sarvajnya he becomes omniscient because there is only he left out because there is nothing called sarvam to other than himself because it is he who was seeing himself as multiplicity outside because it was his own projection he was seeing as multiple objects and multiple things outside by the mind through the mind because i he is the one who was projecting everything yam vidwan evam vidwan the one who knows thus sah sarvatnyah he is a sarvatnyah vipalada says sarvam bhavati he knows that he has become everything this is how the sarvatnyatvam happens sarvam bhutva sarvatnyah bhavati he knows that he is everything so he is seeing everything as himself because it is his projection he which is which he is seen the multiplicity and the multiplicity has now gone and he has remained in his own true nature and that is the beauty and the culmination of his knowledge and he sees in everything in himself and he sees everything as himself there is nothing different from him therefore he is omniscient sarvatnyah sarvam bhavati he becomes everything so he is sarvam kaluidam brahma he is the one who is indeed as brahman he has become everything sat esha tat esha that brahman is his tat esha shloko bhavati that is what the what is i have to say or this shloka what i have been telling you till now is nothing that that supreme one is what you one is to know then in the 11th mantra he concludes the fourth question he says that vitnyanatma saha devaischa சர்வை பிராணாபூதானி சம்பிரதிஷ்டந்தி எத்திர தத் அக்ஷரம் வேதயதே எஸ்து சௌமிய ச சர்வஜ்ஞ சர்வம் ஏவா அவிவேஷ இதி விஜ்ஞானாத்மா த செல்ஃப் ஆஃப் த இன்டலெக்ட் த த்ரூ த இன்டலெக்ட் ஆர் யூசிங் ஹிஸ் இன்டலெக்ட் சர்வை தேவை ஆல் தேவாஸ் ஆல் சென்ஸ் ஆர்கன்ஸ் senses perception sense organs of action sarvam prana all prana panja prana sah prana we including the pranas the five pranas and the mukhya prana bhutani all the creations whatever may be the bhutam means creation elements which are all the elements in the waking and in the dream both the creation bhutani means creations or elements which are there in the waking and in the dream yatra sampradishtante 
he knows where these are all taking refuge or rest saumya yahatu again he who tat aksharam imperishable aksharam vedayate one who knows through intellect this aksharam or this brahman which where he is taking refuge when he goes to his deep sleep sa sarvaha eva avashishyate he remains as sarva see the beauty of it he concluded that he is refuging everything into that deep sleeper and he is also saying that saha sarvaknyaha sarva eva avashishya abhiveshade he enters everything when he creates them through using his mind so avivesate means the last word is avi sarvam meva avivesate he becomes verily enters everything in his creation because there is nothing other than that he is only one ekameva dvitiyam brahma so he created everything he entered everything and he forgot about himself that is our state now so we have to use our intellect to know what is our state in our deep sleep where did my sense organs the mind the intellect the organs of perception the organs of action the panja prana where did they all take refuge they all take took refuge in me not the ego even the ego was taken refuge aksharam you know aham and ahankarta all of them have taken refuge in myself and i am aksharam because i am imperishable because i can't see a destruction for that because aharaha brahma sampradaye prashte day after day i am going to that indestructible space of mine but whatever i have seen during my waking and my dream is getting distracted every day so every day is a new birth for me because what i saw yesterday is not available today and it's a new birth and that is getting distracted that day and when i go back to myself and the next day i am projecting everything again and seeing everything as different from me and this because of my ignorance because i thought i am chaya matra purusha i thought that i thought i am the one through the chaya who has become the world so this is how he concludes his fourth question and i stop it here we will continue the fifth into the fifth question next wednesday o bhadram karne bishrunuyam deva bhadram pashye makshavir yajatra sthirai rangaihi stushtu vagum sastanu bihi व्यशेम देवहिदम यदायु स्वस्तिन इंद्रो वृद्धश्रवा स्वस्तिन पूषा विश्वदेवा स्वस्तिन स्तार्ष्यो अरिष्टनेमी स्वस्तिनो बृहस्पतिर्दता ओ शाति शाति शाति